Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to make Lego 3D animations inside Blender. In our first episode of this series, we're going to be importing our models, Lego models, into Blender and rendering them realistically. In our next episodes, we'll be taking a look at animation, rigging, and all the other stuff that you need to do in order to make animations. But in today's episode, we're just going to do the basics, learn how to import any Lego model into Blender. So for this tutorial, I I kind of expect that you kind of have a basic understanding of Blender. Um, and if you don't, then maybe go and watch some super basic beginner introduction series to Blender. That'll teach you a bit more about how the interface works, what different settings do what, and how rendering works, what the different rendering engines are. If you, The more you know, the more experience you get, the better you'll be at rendering, the better you'll be at animating, the better and more realistic uh, renderings you'll be able to make. And when we get to animations, this will definitely come even more handy because it gets more and more complicated. So in order to do this, you're going to need to go to the website, mechabricks.com. Mechabricks.com is an online Lego modeling, Lego CAD website where you can people can create an account, share, create any Lego site you can think of. It has a workshop. Go in. You can find basically any Lego part in existence and build your own sets. Like so. Move it around. I'm not going to be building any sets, but we will be downloading sets. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Mechabricks home. And what you're going to do is first off, in order to import our models that we download from this website into Blender, you're going to need to download their add-on. So to download their add-on, they have a free version and a paid version. The free version, it's basically, it's a Lego shader. So what it does, it'll make your models look super realistic when you render them. And when you import them, it does this all automatically. The Blender Lite version is just the shader, but if you don't get if you buy the $15 Blender Advanced version, you also get extra cool features like scratches, smudges, fingerprints that just add to the realism of your render. If you go ahead, you can start off just to test it out, you can download their Lite version. Their Lite version is still super realistic anyways. So in order to download it, you're gonna open it up, click add to cart. I already have it. So um, I don't need to do this. And you're going to go back to your profile, which is up in the right corner. Find purchases. And you're going to download the, whichever add-on you've chosen to buy or download. Click download. It'll go to your downloads. And now, once you've downloaded it, go to your, go to your folders and look for your download. Once you find your add-on, you're going to need to unzip it to a folder. And inside your folder, Mechabricks Advanced or Mechabricks Lite, whichever one you got. You're going to go, and depending on which uh, blender you're using, 2.79 or 2.8, it depends which zip file you'll need to download into Blender. We are going to be downloading the 2.04, which is for Blender 2.8. How to install this add-on to Blender is you go to Blender, it's just like all other add-ons, go to Edit, under Preferences, go to Add-ons, and click Install on this top right here. Now what you're going to do is you need to find that zip file, this zip file right here, this Mechabricks zip file. And you're going to click on that and click install add-on from file. Once that happens, you're going to find it and it will should pop up here. It'll be like this. You'll have to check this box in order to enable it and click refresh to save your settings. So now if you go to file, import, Mechabricks is a new option .zmbx down at the bottom. This will help you import your Lego models. So go back to your Mechabricks website and I'm just going to download any set from the website. I'm going to go to library and we're going to download any random model. So I'm going to go to category, we'll go sets. And maybe I'm going to go, let's say I want to download Lord of the Rings. And just for fun, I'm going to download the Battle of Helm's Deep. So what you're going to do is once the set opens, go to editor. This will take you to a new window. And this is the Mechabricks editor that I showed you before. Once that loads, you can see that the entire model, the real Lego set of Helm's Deep is right here. Everything's the exact same. Big thanks to Scrubs, who has modeled this and all the other helpers of this site. To import this into Mechabricks, all you're going to need to do is go File, Export, and under Format, you're going to change it to Blender Add-on.ZMBX. And make sure you check this Lego logo so that it's the highest quality and most realistic as possible because real life bricks will have the Lego logo on it. Click export and this will download a new file to your downloads. Now what you need to do is go to Blender. Now we're going to use the import option that we set up before. We'll go file, 
import mechabricks.zmbx and you're gonna find the model that you just downloaded. So here is mine, the Battle of Helm's Deep. I'm gonna click import ZMBX. And there you go. Your model is now imported into Blender. So if you've noticed, if we zoom out really far, since these Megabricks models are so big compared to what Blender is, is uh, like what regular Blender is, we're gonna have to change the clipping, the background clipping, because if you wanna zoom out on the edges here, it's clipping the background, it's clipping out the model. So in order to fix this, what you'll need to do is open up, is click shortcut N, go to view, and the clip. We're going to change the end, the clip end. We're going to add a few zeros onto that. And now, the clipping will not happen. You can zoom out super far, and we can see a lot more. It makes it just easier to work with. So in order to render this now, we're going to change our render engine from EV to Cycles. You can go through, I'm not going to talk about render settings in today's episode, but we'll touch upon that later. So just set it to cycles for now and turn on, also go to this menu, the view layer properties and turn on denoising. So you can set up your camera. We're going to shift A, add a camera. And I'm going to find this camera, lock camera to view, which is a good trick. It'll lock, if you click this check marks, it'll lock your camera to your viewport. So now you can move around your camera just like you would in a viewport. And oh, here. So now you notice the camera is now starting to do the same clipping that we saw in the viewport. So what you're going to need to do is select the camera, go to camera settings, and also add a few zeros to the camera clipping settings. And that'll solve that problem. If we go to render view inside our viewport, as you can see, it is rendered, but you can't really see it, that's because there's no lighting. So lighting is another very important part in order to make your renders realistic. You can set up area lights, point lamps, all these different things, but what we're gonna to do today's episode to keep it simple is we're gonna use an HDR map. If you don't know an HDR map, you can look it up on other YouTube tutorials, but basically what it is, it's a photograph of an environment that projects light onto your scene. We are going to use a basic sky map, so you're going to open up a new window and we're going to find the node editor, the shader editor, and we're going to go to world. And as you see, the world is just a basic gray background, which is the only light source we have is a gray world, which is why it does not look real so far. We're going to delete this background and we're going to go add a texture and an environment texture. And you connect that to your surface. Now you're going to open a HDR map. You can download HDRs from this website, which is, you can download a couple free ones. I'm going to download this random one that could suit Helm's Deep a little bit, maybe. Maybe we'll download Sprout Sunrise. You can go download this in any uh, size you need. Uh, I'm going to download the 4K version. Just click on that. Now you're going to go back to Blender and click on your environment texture, open it, and search for that image you just downloaded. Sprout Sunrise, open that up, and now you should have a basic HDRI map. And as you can see this, it is rendering out very realistically, and we have our Battle of Helm's Deep. Rendering is not super quick. Rendering is never super quick, so you'll just have to be patient. So if we go back to our camera view, so we're going to go ahead and render image. Let this render out. It can take a very long time. Okay, and there is our render complete. We can look in and see that this is a wide angle render. We're going to do another close up in a minute just to give you more close detail but from far away this definitely looks very real like it could be real Lego so that is very basic uh, way of how you can render Lego in Blender now if you know more about Blender if you watch other tutorials on YouTube and get better at using lighting using shaders all these different techniques you can make these renders look even better this is just a super basic uh, introduction to how you can uh, import and render these in a matter of just plain minutes. This right here is a render of the advanced add-on. For example, you see the fingerprints on this horse 
any of that will not be in the light add-on that is only in the advanced add-on so if you're willing to uh, put in the extra couple 15 bucks to get the added realism then I definitely recommend it that's what I have done and that's what I did in my John Wick and all my other animations we're gonna go and we're gonna render a close-up of Aragon fighting this Orokai so we'll render this shot out in a minute Okay, so that is our render done. This was a very low sample render, but as you can see, this is very, very realistic. So that was how you render and import LEGO models from Mechabricks using their add-on into Blender and rendering them out to create super realistic looking renders. Thank you for watching.